Good morning and welcome to Digital Dealer 14. It's my pleasure to speak to the conference again this year. My name is Jim Dykstra. I'm the Automotive Sales Manager for Comcast. Wanted to take a, an opportunity this morning to share with you uh, what I think are a couple of big gaps and tripping points, if you will, between all the money spent on a Tier 1 and 2 basis and what you're trying to accomplish at a Tier 3 basis. In simple terms, let's make it easy for the consumers to choose your dealership for the right reasons. So, what does that mean? Really three things. Number one, the consumer is looking for an authentic message, no matter where it is. Whether it's your TV commercial, whether it's on cars.com, or whether it's on your Facebook page or some other form of social media, they want you to be authentic. Is this really who I'm hearing? The voice, if you will, on the other side of the camera. Number two, they want you to be consistent. Remember, consumers are not in the market very long these days. With the increased demand, the economy getting better, you see a lot of consumers, 60% of them are in the market less than 30, day, or, yeah, 30 days, and 80% of them are in less than 90 days. So it's important to be consistent when you're sharing this message across the market and across all the platforms that you might choose to, to put your message out. Number two, the real issue around uh, increasing conversions at the dealership is to make sure that your website helps the consumer engage and get comfortable with your dealership. I can assure you that a consumer who spent a month or two looking for a Toyota believes that a Toyota dealer has a Toyota. So to tell them you have 300 or 400, if you don't have the right one, um, that's a moot point. So how do you get the consumer to focus in on what's important to them, who, who they're buying the car from? Um, we all know it's important for consumers to buy locally, but we don't tell them that until they get to the dealership. So let's drive home the message of buy local for tax revenue, teachers, schools. On the, you know, on the other side, let's make sure that uh, um, as they're you know, looking at your website, if they want to understand who works there, let's give them videos, not just pictures on the wall in the service department. But let's show them a little bit about our staff, how long you've been in the business, how many years you've worked at the store, what you do, and maybe just something a little personal. A little bit about the family, Starbucks you frequent every day, what it might be. And the last piece would be frequently asked questions. It's kind of interesting that retail automotive is really the only place on the web where you don't see a frequently asked questions or an FAQ page. Um, consumers have them, probably more so with an item as complex as automotive, but our history is, as dealers, we tend to hold that information back and make it a reason to stay at the store, when actually in today's model, with all the information we've released, not answering those questions consistently or letting them, consumers get an answer from somebody else and not being accurate is actually a reason not to come to the store. So the takeaway at the end of the day will be how to align your messaging to make sure it's authentic and consistent, how to build value in the dealership, not just the product and the price, but in the dealership, and then how to deliver um, frequently asked questions in a simple, straightforward manner so that it helps uh, consumers engage and makes it easy for them to choose your dealership.